In this problem, we have two speakers that are vibrating in phase, and they're distance L1 and L2 away from you. You're told that L1 is 45.4 meters, L2 is 34.2 meters, and velocity of sound is 343 meters per second. Now, what you want to do is find out the two lowest frequencies at which you can hear. Now, because these things are vibrating in phase, there's just going to be specific frequencies that you can hear due to constructive and destructive interference. So we can start off by saying, for constructive interference, we know that the path length difference, so I'm going to put absolute value signs L1 minus L2 equals N lambda. So for, for constructive interference, the difference in our path lengths has to be an integer amount of wavelengths. So if we look at this from the side, let's say we see this wave going like this, okay? In order for them to line up and for this to be constructive interference, this has to be exactly one wavelength shifted. So that's why this n, an integer amount of wavelengths off. So if it was only a half, so it started, let's say, here, went up like that, it would actually be destructive interference. So you want it to be constructive interference, has to be n wavelengths away, that's the path length difference in these. Okay, so when I put absolute value signs, because uh, we subtract them, it doesn't, it doesn't matter if it's uh, negative, we just want a positive value, what's the difference? So no matter what I put in there, if I get negative, I just make it positive. So, we know that um, wavelength is equal to Let's say V equals F lambda. So lambda, our wavelength, is equal to V over F. Because we're looking for frequencies, not we don't care about the wavelength. We, we're worried about the frequency of this. So um, we can plug V over F in for lambda here. So this whole thing turns into L1 minus L2 equals N the integer times lambda, which is V over F. Now, we're looking for the two smallest frequencies, so let's just solve for frequency to start with. So F, if we multiply it over, is equal to N V over L1 minus L2. Okay. I'm going to start throwing in some numbers now. So V is 343 meters per second divided by L1 minus L2. L1 is 45.4 meters minus 34.2 meters. Okay, and we still have our integer N there. So we plug all that in um, subtract this and then actually divide, we're going to get F is equal to 30.625. Our units are going to be hertz. So we have uh, meters on the bottom, cancels out with this meter, so we have 1 over seconds, which is hertz, uh, times N. Okay, so N can be integer 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so on. And we want the two lowest that we can actually hear. Now we're told that our range of hearing is from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. So right off the bat, if we look, if we say n equals 1, we plug 1 in. So f at n equals 1 is equal to 30.625 times n of 1 hertz. So that's just 30.625. Do the same for n equals 2, so 30.625 times 2 hertz, which gives us 61.25 hertz. So our two frequencies that we can hear, the two lowest frequencies, because we always start with 1 to figure out the lowest, and if this, if this happened to be lower than 20 hertz, we would, we would have kept going to figure out what the lowest one we could hear. Okay, so F equals 30.625 uh, 
Yeah, three significant digits, 30.6 hertz, and F equals 61.3 hertz. That's our final answer.